This is the Irpin River, and its waters literally saved Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, from falling to Russians. Since day one of the full-scale war, the Kremlin has seen Kyiv as its number one target. To lay siege to the city, Russia launched 107 battalion tactical groups at Ukraine's borders, the largest buildup of military force since World War II. Thousands of armored vehicles and over 30,000 Russian troops invaded from Belarus and headed through Chernobyl to conquer Kyiv. This 162 kilometers long water artery blurred Russian three days blitzkrieg plan. To keep the Russian troops from advancing, Ukrainian defenders made a tough decision to blow up the Irpin Dam. I came up with an idea to blow the floodgate and the commander said, fire. Breaching of the dam on the second day of the offensives flooded 13,000 hectares of wetlands. The water from Irpin turned into a weapon. The water from the Irpin River surged into the countryside, including Demidiv, a village approximately 35 kilometers north of Kiev. The villagers' homes resembled solitary isles on water, flooded, resolute, and not under Russian occupation. The level of water was increasing one meter per day. We saw the results straight away. Russian troops that approached here with their heavy armored units suddenly got stuck in a swamp and rushed along the riverbanks looking for a loophole to somehow cross it. Such a halt turned out to be vital for the Ukrainian forces, giving them an upper hand to deploy the artillery, regroup, and create two defense lines around Kyiv. The enemy headed to Hostomel, Bucha, and the town of Irpin, but could not get onto the other bank of this unique natural obstacle. All the bridges had been destroyed by then. Still, the Russians didn't give up building pontoons across the river on their way to Ukraine's capital, meanwhile becoming easy prey for the armed forces of Ukraine. The battle for Kyiv wasn't the only time the Irpin River has saved the city. The outer defense line around the city fortified in early days of the full-scale war against Russians coincided with the one created against invading Nazi troops back in 1941. It had been made of minefields set up along the Irpin River and helped Kyiv stand up to the Nazis for two months. For centuries, the Irpin River has been the first frontier of Kyiv together with Ukraine's defenders. Back in the 10th century, Kyiv and Rus's Lord Volodymyr the Great built the so-called Serpent's Walls, a fortification system. They stretched primarily across the Kyiv region and protected the city in the south and southwest. The Irpin River itself shielded Kyiv from the attacks of nomads coming from the northwest. The floodplains were so wide and swampy that the enemy cavalry simply couldn't pass. It is believed that the founders of the city chose this very location not only because of Ukraine's largest and longest river, the Dnipro, running through the city, but also due to nearly 70 other streams and smaller rivers that flow in the surrounding lands. Meanwhile, making Kyiv a great European fortress. The Russians followed the path of many invaders which tried to conquer Kyiv since time immemorial. Though in less than several weeks, they were forced out of the region, incurring enormous losses. Within those early battles, Ukrainian forces destroyed one third of Russia's total military hardware prepared for the invasion and eliminated more Russian personnel that it had lost in 10 years of the war in Afghanistan. If Russians had successfully uh, captured Kyiv, I am sure they would have somehow gotten rid of President Zelensky. And Kyiv is still standing, reflecting its might in the waters that keep flowing in, as if saying, I won't be conquered, not in another three days, not in a year, never.